We all withdraw money from the ATM. The process of withdrawal money from the ATM involves many steps. If you think about it, each and every step can create problem and does create problem. Therefore, people who design the ATM system have to keep in mind what kind of problems occur and what solutions are there and they have to build in the solution in advance so that these problems do not happen. And if the problems happen, the system can behave elegantly. I'll give you another example. Your computer. While you're working on the computer, your computer hangs. Now, what if this computer is part of the landing system of an airplane? The computer will still hang when the airplane has to land. The landing cannot fail. Therefore, probability comes in here and gives you a guideline as to how to design the system. After the airplane lands, it has to break. And the break, braking system cannot fail. Therefore, it has to be a fail-safe system. Therefore, all the steps which are involved in the braking system must work. We have introducing a course on probability and statistics for university level students. It is required for all students of at university level. We will be talking about basic probability. We'll talk about descriptive statistics, where we will talk about mean, median, mode, and, and how to handle data. Then we will talk about discrete distribution. We will talk about continuous distribution. We will talk about sampling and estimation. And finally, we will talk about linear regression. Hopefully you'll find the course useful and you will subscribe for this course. Thank you all very much.